rolling solo for this hitting shelves, while Cyrix is on a 13-day cruise to the Bahamas on his own private luxury yacht. I've got a lot to cover while I'm stuck at the computer, so let's get started. Since our last Hitting Shelves video, Limited Run snuck one in behind us. The good news is, you can still get it. Toe Jam and Earl, back in the groove, developed by our friends over at Human Nature Studios, is bringing that funky fresh pair of odd-looking dudes to the Switch. This game features some great co-op play that I simply can't enjoy since my co-host decided to abandon me this week. That standard edition is available over at Limited Run's website for $34.99. If you were lucky enough to snag that $69.99 Collector's Edition copy, you got the game, four enamel pins featuring the main characters, two enamel pin blind boxes, a 25-piece puzzle, 10 pin stands, an assortment of standees for the map, an 18 by 24 inch poster, and the game's soundtrack on a cassette tape. Slammin'. Another high alert release and what's driving me to release this Hitting Shelves on a Saturday again is R-Type Dimensions EX by Tozai Games and Strictly Limited. If you're a fan of the two original arcade classic R-Type games, you do not want to miss out on this. These are truly classic shmups, this time in HD 3D graphics. But if you prefer, you can switch to the classic graphics with a simple push of a button. There will be a set of individually numbered collector's edition copies limited to a mere 2,000 at 49.99 euro. That contains the game, a hardcover art book, an R-Type dog tag, mini marquee stickers, and R-Type cards. There will also be 3,000 copies of the standard version, also individually numbered, for 29.99 euro. These are expected to ship in late March or April, so Cyrix should be back by then. Be on the ball Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. The 26th looks like it's just filled with releases, the first of which is Aces of the Luftwaffe Squadron from THQ Nordic. This shmup has fantastic battles with waves of enemies, massive boss battles, and up to four-player co-op so that you and your friends can truly take on the German Luftwaffe as a squadron. Co-op sounds fun. What do you think, Sir? Oh, yeah, right. This title includes the Nebelgeschwader DLC and is a mere $29.99. The second game for the 26 is Aragami Shadow Edition from Kokum International and Merge Games. Control the shadows as the spirit Aragami to teleport, become invisible, and more. Both the Nightfall and Assassin's Masks DLC are included. The game supports online, cross-platform multiplayer as well. Shame I don't have anyone to play with right now. Our friends over at Signature Edition in Europe have a Collector's Edition that includes a Peggy-rated version of the game, two enamel pins, a soundtrack CD, numbered certificate, and a Collector's Art Card, all for £38.73. If you want that standard ESRB version, it'll run you $39.99. Another exclusive, is coming down from Best Buy. Best Buy locked down the combo cart of Child of Light Ultimate Edition plus Valiant Hearts The Great War from Ubisoft. Two distinctly different hand-drawn styles brought together in one package. Child of Light Ultimate Edition is a role-playing platformer while Valiant Hearts The Great War is a puzzle adventure game. Must be nice to have both of them there at the same time. Be sure to grab this release for $39.99 at retail. One of the longest delayed games for the Switch is finally releasing, but only in Europe, at least so far. Constructor Plus from System 3 Software brings over 140 buildings, 65 pre-built cities, 17 worlds, 15 different story modes, and one missing co-host. As of this recording, the earliest release date in Europe looks like Amazon France, which shows the 26th with a couple others following suit on the 28th. Looks like this one will run you 39.99 euro if you're up for it. Another one set to release in Europe is Fimble from Zaxis and Wild River. This action adventure has you deep in Viking battles and heavy story. The game has some amazing scenery and intense massive enemies. Do what you must to survive the harsh winter environment. 
Fimble is running for 35 euro via Amazon France, which is again the front runner on the release date with the 26th. You know, the Vikings abandoned Greenland. I feel a little abandoned. Another title from THQ Nordic is on our list for the 26th. Rad Rogers Radical Edition, developed by Slipgate Studios, borrows heavily from the Apogee game style. So if you remember games like Duke Nukem, Monster Bash, or Rise of the Triad from Apogee games, this is probably your cup of tea. I bet Cyrix would like this. The game that is, probably not the tea. This game started as a Kickstarter project that launched on September 6, 2016 and raised over 81000 for other platforms, but you can get it for Switch for a mere $29.99. Nicholas is finally back, bringing us Remy Lore, Lost Girl in the Lands of Lore from developers Pixel Lore Inc. and Remy Mori. Remy Lore looks like it could be a wonderful top-down hack-and-slash roguelite done up with anime characters. You can even go so far as to turn on full Japanese voice files in the game, though I've heard that doing that might get a bit unbearable. Quick note, the game's title Remy Lore is simply the two developer studio's names combined. Bet you didn't even think about that earlier, did you? Grab this one for $39.99. I bet the Bahamas are nice this time of year. The last game for the 26th is Trials Rising Gold Edition from Ubisoft. The Gold Edition includes the additional DLC with over 55 tracks added to the game as well as a sticker book. Think of Trials Rising a little bit like a modern day excite bike and you're probably close enough to understand what this game is like. Ride up and over a bunch of obstacles across courses from all over the world. Doing this hitting shelves alone is a bit of an obstacle. Trials Rising Gold Edition retails for $39.99. On the 28th, coming out of Japan, is the Darius Cosmic Collection. Taito is bringing its classic series of horizontal shmups to the Switch in wonderful fashion. It seems that there are two different versions available out there. A normal version with arcade versions of Darius, Darius 2, Sagaya, and Darius Gaiden. And a special edition with each of the previously mentioned titles as well as Darius Twin and Darius Force for the Super Famicom, Sagaya for the Sega Master System, Darius 2 for the Mega Drive, and Darius Alpha for the PC Engine, as well as a couple of bonuses. All material shown seems to show English playable, though, as of recording, Nintendo of Japan's schedule page does not have a link to the product page. The standard edition is going for 4,699 yen on Amazon Japan, while the special edition is no longer available at standard pricing, though it was 16,800 yen. It's a good thing Cyrix doesn't import these things, because that's not chump change. Also on the 28th, the visual novel My Girlfriend is a Mermaid from Tail Shop and Kozen is coming to the Switch in physical form. There was a Kickstarter back in May of 2018 to get this brought to the Switch platform, and it met its funding goal. Well, here it is, visual novel fans. Amazon Japan is carrying this one for 2,345 yen. I bet Cyrix sees some mermaids while on that luxury yacht. Wish I was on a luxury yacht. The final date on our calendar to look at is March 5th. The first title to be put up in Switch Year 3 is My Little Writing Champion from Kaipa Rina Games and Big Ben. I know these horse games are Cyrix's favorite, so I'll be sure he gets the next few to make up for me having to do this one while he's gone. You'll be able to customize your rider and take part in equestrian competitions as you build your relationship with your horse. All of that for $29.99. The last game on our list this time around is RBI Baseball 19 from MLB Advanced Media. This just might be the first time the RBI series on the Switch makes it out before the All-Star break. Nothing quite like starting a season of RBI five months too late, right? This time around, it looks like the folks over at Major League Baseball finally got their stuff together to make a decent version of their game on Switch. There's a number of new animations, improvements in visuals all around, and a few new features to boot. Maybe when Cyrix gets back, he'll want to play a game or two with the online multiplayer. If you pick this up from GameStop, you get a free coin. If you get it from Walmart, you get some Topps baseball cards. Walmart got caught slipping and had the game priced at just about $15 a few days ago if you were lucky to catch it. Otherwise, it's retailing for $29.99.
In all seriousness, I look forward to Cyrix's return. It'll be just in time for our incredible multi-part anniversary podcast with special guest stars CM5871 from the r slash NS Collector subreddit, JP from JP Switch Mania, Hardy Pace from Play Asia, Desmond Wong from the Gentle Bros, developers of CatQuest, George Perkins from Super Rare Games, Jason Perkins from Curve Digital, and Andy Grace and Jeff Smith from Special Reserve Games. Tune in on March 3rd for this monumental episode. Until then, this is Soul, and thanks for seeing what's on the shelf. Thank you.